ambulance. I'm the police. Okay, and what's going on there? I've been kidnapped and I've been missing for 10 years and I'm, I'm here, I'm free now. This week we've seen an amazing story coming out of Cleveland in the States. Three women, missing since they were in their teens and early 20s, have been found safe and well after being kidnapped and locked away for around 10 years. It's a happy ending that no one was expecting. People go missing all the time. In the UK alone, it's reported that 327,000 missing person reports are made to the police every year. But one thing that is certain is that the coverage of missing people in the media is inconsistent, to say the least. And the Cleveland case has got people talking once again about the apparent prejudices in the media. It's not a new phenomenon. In the UK, many commentators wondered if the case of Madeleine McCann would have received as much attention had she not been a beautiful white child from a middle-class family. Yeah. Professor Yvonne Dukes also wrote in her book Crime and Media that the coverage of the tragic murders of Millie Dowler, Sarah Payne, Jessica Chapman and Holly Wells was in stark contrast to the coverage of the murder of Damalola Taylor, which in the early days received precious little media attention. The apparent hypocrisy in this coverage is known as missing white woman syndrome, a phrase coined by Cherie Parks, an associate professor at the University of Maryland, which refers to the disproportionate media coverage of missing people. A famous study by Seong Jae Min and John C. Feaster from 2010 investigated the relationship between missing children and the subsequent coverage of the media and found that both race and gender were factors. While US news reports between 2005 and 2007 suggested that African-American children made up 19.5% of missing children cases, in reality they actually made up 33.2%. In contradiction with the missing white woman syndrome theory, however, the study found that missing children cases amongst males in the US were actually overrepresented by the media, while cases amongst females were underrepresented. A report from 1997 by academics Pritchard and Hughes states that when it comes to missing children, it's no surprise disappearances receive more press coverage because crimes against children are rare, morally abhorred and constitute high deviance. There are, however, inconsistencies between the coverage of individual cases on the basis of gender, ethnicity and socio-economic background. Professor Charlton McIlwain from New York University says this is because victims are colour-coded and that our national ideal of who is vulnerable and who holds victim status are those who are white and female. The poignancy of this race debate is ironically highlighted by the words of Charles Ramsey, the surprise hero of the Cleveland case. Either she homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she run to a black man. 